Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in the previous one I strayed a little bit because the whole topic was meant to be about forgiveness. That there are two types of forgiveness. Okay, the first one was understanding the adult that hurt you, that created this pain inside of you. Okay, you made all these decisions about yourself. When you can understand that adult, that grown up, whoever it was that caused you this pain, that created this inside of you, this belief about you not being good enough, not being worthy, not being valuable, all these things. When you can see them for the human being that they are, when you can understand that they were doing the best that they could do at that time, understanding that many people don't know how to change a pattern that's been created and especially one that's been passed down for many generations it's learning to forgive that person without them even needing to say they're sorry they don't even need to apologize you can see the human being that is full of pain that created the pain inside of you. When you can see their pain, when you can see where they came from themselves. Because only a person that is in pain can inflict pain on another person. I've said this in many, many videos and it's so, so important for you to get your head around it. A person that is centered, a person that is full of love, a person that is in peace cannot, and I can't stress this enough, cannot inflict pain on another human being. It is impossible. It's against their nature. So the most important thing for you to understand is that the person that caused you grief that you've carried for so many years was in pain to start with. They were in their own pain. Whether it's a bully in your life that caused you pain, whether it's you know a teacher that said something negative to you and you've carried that your whole life, whether it's one of your parents that have said things over and over to you to make you feel that you're worthless, all of this comes from their pain of who they think they are inside and it all comes from what they've been through they're just passing that down they don't know any better they don't know how to change it but that's why we're here that's why you're here because you want to change it you don't like me you don't want to feel stuck anymore you don't want to be in pain anymore you don't want to suffer anymore and until you can look at it for the truth of it you can't forgive it and that's what we're here for to be able to forgive it without the other person even having to say anything you just understand you just get it there's an awakening to it there's a clarity in your mind it's like a fog's being lifted only a person in pain can inflict pain on another person. Only a person in pain can say words to hurt another person, can do actions, you know, that will hurt another person. Only a person in pain, get that in your head, because once you get that, it all comes together. And if you can't get that, if you find it so difficult to get in your head that only a person in pain can cause pain to another, then you need to start looking at you. And when you're rude to other people, where's that coming from? Is that coming from you being happy and joyful? Are you really proud of yourself that day? You wake up and the world is all beautiful and rosy. How are you feeling that day? Look at yourself then. If you can't see it in another person, if you can't accept that in another person, 
You need to start looking at you. How are you feeling about yourself when you're mean to other people? How are you feeling about yourself when you're rude to other people? And when you are mean to other people and you are rude to other people, doesn't that make you feel even worse about who you are? Because I know it did me. I didn't even feel proud of who I was when I was horrible to people. And I said mean things that for some people they can't forgive. And it's been pff, about 10 years now. They can't forgive it. And I've had to accept that. Okay? But I was not in a good place when I said mean things to other people. I was not in a good place when I was trying to hurt other people's people on an emotional level. I was not in a good place. So I know where it comes from. It comes from a self-loathing. You can't stand who you are. You want to push everyone away from you. So if you can't see it in someone else, you really, really need to start looking at you. When you are kind to others, when you are good and you feel good about yourself, how do you interact with others? And on those days where you're frustrated and you're angry with yourself and you just, uh, how do you interact with others? And those interactions, when you're not nice to someone else, when you cut someone else off, when you're rude, when you dismiss someone, make them feel invisible, how does that make you feel? So you need to see it in you first. When you can see it in you, you'll understand how it works in everyone else. Because the other forgiveness, we were talking there's two, two types of forgiveness. The first one is to be able to forgive that grown-up, that adult, that person in your childhood that caused you or created all this pain inside of you. That's forgiveness number one, but that's not the most important forgiveness. The most important is the second, and it's your own forgiveness. Learning to forgive yourself. And we're going to talk more about this in the next video. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.